Hello everybody, Nathan here with another Mind Test Mod Review, and today we are looking at the Lifter Mod. This is made by, and I'm probably going to butcher the enunciation here, but Splizzard, I'm assuming is how it's pronounced. Um, if I mispronounce that, my deepest apologies. But as far as I can tell, that would be how it is enunciated. And... Without further ado, let's start looking. Now, I have constructed a very long tunnel all the way up to the top of this. And maybe I shouldn't really say I've constructed a tunnel, so I pretty much built a wall with an empty space in the middle. Now, I could fill this with ladders. Could do that. Ladders are lame, though. I could just use this little lifter thing. So you pretty much you walk on it, and you hit space bar to travel up. And you can hold space to go faster. And you stop at the levels. So if I made multiple levels, which I will do in a moment to demonstrate how this works, you would stop at those other levels. And then you pretty much can just walk right off of it. The door will automatically open for you when you walk off. I have free move enabled, so that's why I'm not falling to my death. But you will notice the lifter is now up here. So let's go back down to the ground level and peek through the window, you'll notice that there is, there's no lifter there, right? You can see that. There's not a lifter. Forgive the blue highlight. There we go. Definitely not a lifter in there. Let's go ahead and turn free move off. Click on the door here. Now there's a lifter. Let's take a look up. Hmm, I see this guy. Okay. So the lifter automatically will travel from anywhere in a vertical path. Now you can use it to go down as well um, using your sneak button which is usually shift and again if you hold it down you can go faster and to go up is your jump button. At any point you can get off by using your use key. Um, that must be only at openings because I can't do anything right now. Yeah otherwise even just walking takes you off so that's okay. Okay, free move is off. I should probably keep that on if I'm going to be making another exit. Uh, we'll just take a quick look here at the craft recipes. We're using a normal door. And then we surround it with sticks to make the lift door. And the actual lift block itself um, isn't, isn't that hard to memorize. Wooden plank, sticks, and a messy block. So, simple stuff there. Just grab a diamond pickaxe because, well, why not, you know? <clears throat> All right, and I'm thinking I want to have an exit right here. So we have that. Um, and I probably should have kept a few torches from before, but I threw all of those out. Yeah, give me 10 of those. And you know what? I should probably take another lift door. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's put a torch out there so I can see what I'm doing. I could also just as easily make a day, but... And why bother? Alright, because everybody needs a door that looks like this. Or not a door, but a path. You know, so you can fall to your death. Alright, let's call for a lift. Hey, I got a lift. Very nice. Let's go up. And we go up to the top. Alright, let's get off the lift. Okay. Let's get back on this lift. Let's go down. Now this should stop us at the door. Ta-da, we're at the door. Or if we want to keep going down, we can go down and get to ground level. Doors automatically open, which is nice. And of course the others automatically close when there's not a lift there. So you don't have to worry about this happening. Like you're just on your merry way, and you're digging in your super deep mine. I should turn free move off because this is not going to work. You're digging in your super deep mine, and you see an open door, and you go, Oh, that means there's a lift there. Let me just... Oh, no, there wasn't a lift. Almost died. Just super uncool. So with the doors automatically opening when there is a lift there and closing when there's not, it prevents you from pretty much killing yourself. And, of course, if there's already a lift there, the door will open. Sometimes it takes a second, 
Um, and that's just because of how it's looking for the lift. Because the lift... He did some kind of weird sorcery. And I probably shouldn't call it sorcery because that's going to super offend somebody, I'm sure. But he somehow figured out where when you stand on this node, it becomes an entity. And otherwise, it's just a node when you're not on it. And actually, I guess I shouldn't say when you stand on it. It's only when you click on it that it turns it into an entity. Otherwise, you can walk on top of it and nothing will happen. Another fun little thing you can do is you can travel to the top of your door. Because that's super useful. It's not useful at all. It was sarcasm. But yeah, you can do that too. Uh, you do have to have something around the wall of it though. So if I wanted to continue up to the top of this mountain here, I would literally have to... Well, I have two options on it. I could make a new one to travel up, or I would pretty much have to just put walls up the rest of the way so that would work now it might be possible and I haven't tried this maybe I should have and that's gonna kill me yay oh and I don't even spawn anywhere near where I was what's well, oh wait yeah I kind of ish do right over here I remember now I had to walk a while to get to a straight wall there we go let me turn fast move on why not? If I gave myself the privs, may as well use them, right? Okay, so. Oh, I'm going to have to get myself a new diamond sword. I rod. Diamond pickaxe. There we go. Okay, I don't know if I can do this. We're going to find out, though. Right here, right now, because that's what we do on this show. All right. Turn those off. Let's go down. We're down at that level. This will take us down to the first door. Let's go down again. Okay, we can have an empty spot, and that's not an issue. And we'll go down to here. Okay, so if you wanted, and I honestly, for the life of me, do not know why you would ever do this, but if you wanted, you could. You could have just the four corners and then have a lift in the center. And that works. The only real use I could see for that would be if you were using this as like an elevator shaft in a house or a building or something. You might want to use it, but if you're mining, unless of course you fall into a cavern, you know, a big underground cave or something, that would make sense then. Because you'd have to build something up so your lift could keep traveling through it. So, and I would assume... In like fashion, you could just do the two sides, but then you're still in a pitch black piece anyway, so I don't know what the advantage of that would be. I think it would save cobble, but let's be real here. Since when has any of us, I think have would have been the right word, since when have any of us ever had any issues with not having enough cobble? Like seriously, if you're mining, you're going to have cobble, more than enough cobble. But that is kind of off point. So... I think that wraps this up. It's really, that's all there is to it. There's the doors, there's the lift. You use the lifts by right clicking on them to stand on it, shift in space, or sneak in, jump if yours are configured differently to uh, go up and down. And yeah, that's it. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta wait for a while because just of the method it used to look for it. Sometimes for a very long while, sometimes it doesn't seem to work. Not sure what's going on right now as to why it's not. But obviously you just seen it working several times, so we know it does work. So yeah. That is that. Visit my website for the download link. As I've been doing lately, because I'm too lazy to just put it in the video description. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably start doing that again. Oh well, that's gonna wrap this up. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com. 
and see all my videos there. Really nice website if I do say so myself. I did design it so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the request review button right there. Takes you to form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit, but hey, do it anyways. There's you got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.